Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Blog Podcast. It's going to be a long one today. Today is Monday, January 14th, 2019. Today I'm going to recap yesterday's two NFL games, evaluate the teams who were eliminated, do guess the lines for next week's games, college basketball, NBA, NHL, and the power rankings for NHL. Kyler Murray makes his decision. I want to get into a little bit with Manny Machado and Bryce Harper. Talk about tennis. Mel Stoudemire passed away. I want to talk about that a little bit. And I'm going to give out my best bet of the day. All right. In football yesterday, the Patriots, 41-28 winners over the Los Angeles Chargers as New England goes on to take on the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC Championship game. Tom Brady, that was the best I've seen him in a long time. 34 of 44, 343 yards and a touchdown. Phillip Rivers, 25 of 51, 331 yards, three touchdowns and in one interception. Most of that was in garbage time. First quarter, Sonny Michelle, one-yard run, 7-0. That was on the opening drive. Chargers on their opening drive. Phillip Rivers to Keenan Allen, 43 yards, 7-7. Sonny Michelle, 14 yard touchdown, 14 the seven, second quarter. 15 yard touchdown pass to Philip Dorsett from Brady, 21 to 7. Rex Burkhead, 6 yard run, 28 to 7. Sonny Michelle, 5 yard run, 35 to 7. Third quarter, Stephen Goskowski, 28 yard field goal, 38 to 7. Melvin Gordon, 1 yard run, 38 to 14. Goskowski from 30, 41 to 14. Vigil Green from Philip Rivers, 1 yard, and then Phillip Rivers to Keenan Allen for a two-point conversion makes it 41-22. to Then in garbage time, Phillip Rivers to Antonio Gates for eight yards. That was probably Phil- Antonio Gates' last game. So good for him to catch an eight-yard touchdown pass in what could have been, in all likelihood, his final game. 41-28 is your final as New England looks great for the first time in a long time. The Saints defeat the Eagles 20-14 to as the Saints move on to take on the Los Angeles Rams in the NFC title game. New Orleans fell behind early as Jordan Matthews catches his 37-yard pass from Nick Foles to make it 7-0 Eagles. Drew Brees actually threw an interception on this, the first play of the first drive of the game, which led to that first Eagles touchdown. Nick Foles, one-yard run, 14-0 Eagles, second quarter. Keith Kirkwood from Drew Brees for two yards, 14-7. Will Lutz, 45-yard field goal, makes it 14-10 at the half. Third quarter, Michael Thomas, two-yard pass from Drew Brees with 140 left. In the third, the Saints take their first lead, 17-14. Will Lutz, 39-yard field goal with 10-28 left of the fourth quarter, 20-14. Lutz misses a 53-yarder. And the Eagles, on the last drive, are poised to perhaps get the win here. But Alshon Jeffrey, the ball slips out of his hands, and it falls into the hands of Marshawn Lattimore of the Saints. And New Orleans is off to the NFC title game as they'll be hosting that game against the Rams. Drew Brees, 28 of 38, 301 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Nick Foles, 18 of 31, 201 yards, a touchdown and two picks. Could have been perhaps Nick Foles' final game as an eagle. As a lot of teams are going to be looking at quarterbacks in the offseason. So Nick Foles will probably be a starter for somebody next year. Guess the lines for... The AFC and NFC championship games. We're going to start with the NFC because that's the earlier game on Fox. That's going to be Joe Buck, Traikman, Aaron Andrews, and Chris Myers on the call. I have projected New Orleans minus 4.5 and, and New Orleans is minus 3.5. That to me is a bit of a surprise. And in the AFC title game, New England Patriots at the Kansas City Chiefs. Jim Nance, Tony Romo, Tracy Wolfson on the call. I have the Chiefs favored by three, and that's what the line is. So I was one point off with the Rams-Saints game, and I was correct on the New England-Kansas City game. Now I'm going to get into college basketball a little bit as I'll go through the results and 
I will look at tonight's slate of games and pick important games within the major conferences and ranked teams. Xavier defeats Butler 70 to 69 as Xavier improves to 11 and 7. Butler drops to 10 and 7. Villanova defeats Creighton 90 to 78. Villanova 13 to 4. Creighton 10 and 7. St. Peter's defeats Marist 72 63. St. Peter's 5 and 11. Marist 6 and 10. South Carolina defeats Missouri 85 75. South Carolina 8 and 7. Missouri 9 and 5. Knipiak defeats Fairfield 80 to 78. Knipiak 8 and 7. Fairfield 5 and 12. Iona defeats Canisius 88 to 70. Iona 5 and 10. Canisius 5 and 11. Ryder defeats Niagara 104 84. Ryder 9 and 7. Niagara 8 and 9. South Dakota defeats Purdue Fort Wayne 87 73. South Dakota 8 and 9. Purdue Fort Wayne is 12 and 8. Dayton defeats UMass 72 67. Dayton 11 5. UMass 7 and 9. UCF defeats East Carolina 76 65. UCF 13 and 2. ECU 8 and 8. Northern Iowa defeats Drake 57-54. UNI 7-10. Drake 12-5. Number 6, Michigan State defeats Penn State 71-56. Michigan State 15-2. Penn State 7-10. George Mason defeats Rhode Island 84-67. George Mason 9-8. Rhode Island 8-7. Memphis defeats Tulane 83-79. Memphis 11-6. Tulane 4-12. Number 2, Michigan defeats Northwestern 80-60. Michigan 17-0. Northwestern 10-7. Oregon defeats USC 81-60. Impressive win for the Ducks. Oregon's 10-6. USC's 9-8. And, and Oregon State defeats UCLA 79-66. Oregon State 11-4. UCLA 10-7. Tonight's slate at 6.30 on Fox Sports 1. You have Nebraska at number 25, Indiana. Indiana's a two-point favorite. I think they win and cover that easily. Syracuse at number one, Duke. 7 o'clock on ESPN. Duke's is minus 17. I think that Syracuse lost that Georgia Tech game because they were looking ahead to this game. I'm going to take Duke to win, but Syracuse to cover the number, I think Duke wins by 12. So Syracuse stays within 17. Number 11, Florida at Pitt, 7 o'clock on ESPNU. I'm going to take Pitt outright to pull off the upset. I think Florida State's going to have a little bit of a letdown after the way they lost to Duke on Saturday, and Pitt's getting 4.5 as well. Monmouth at Siena. Johnson Wales, Rhode Island at Brown. CBS Sports Network, Holy Cross at Bucknell. South Carolina State and Coppin State at 7.30 as well as NCAT Maryland Eastern. NC Central Delaware State, 8 o'clock between Cookman Norfolk State. 8.30 Fox Sports 1, Wisconsin at number 19, Maryland. Maryland's a 3.5 point favorite. I think Wisconsin's a better team, but I really like how the Terps have been playing. That was an impressive win, come from behind style against Indiana. I think they're going to win here and cover the 3.5. Southern and Jackson State. Alabama State and Mississippi Valley State, Alcorn and Grambling, Alabama and M and Arkansas Pine Bluff, 9 o'clock ESPNU, Baylor and Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State's a three-point favorite. That was an impressive win over West Virginia on Saturday, but I'm going to take Baylor to win outright, getting three. Just a gut feeling I have. And 9 o'clock ESPN, Texas at number seven, Kansas. The second part of the doubleheader for Big Monday on the mothership that is ESPN. Kansas is a six-and-a-half-point favorite. I'm going to take Kansas to win, but Texas to cover the six-and-a-half. And then you have Northern Colorado against Montana State as well. NBA. Yesterday, there were a couple games. Seven. So, it was more than a couple. 76ers defeat the Knicks, 108-105. The Knicks came back and made this game really interesting. They could have won this game outright. But the 76ers bounced back in the fourth quarter after they had a bad third quarter. And the Knicks outscored them 32-17. Sixers end up getting a three-point victory. They're 28-16. New York is 10-33. Kevin Knox had a career-high 31 points in defeat for the Knicks. Joel Embiid had 26 in the win. Ben Simmons had 20, 22, and 9. J.J. Redick had 22. Jimmy Butler had 16. Bench didn't do anything. Emmanuel Moutier had 19. By the way, had a look to tie the game at the end of regulation after Damian Dotson was fouled. On a three-pointer. Hits the first two three throws. Misses the last one on purpose. The rebound gets to Moutier. He shoots it. But the shot was off and the 76ers held on to their lives and got the win. Luke Cornett had 23 off the bench for New York as well. The Raptors defeated the Wizards 140-138 to 138 in double overtime. Toronto 33 and 12, Washington 18 and 26, Kawhi Leonard 41 points and 11 rebounds and 5 assists, Kyle Lowry 12 points, 11 assists, Denny Green at 16, Pascal Siakam at 24, 19 boards, Serge Ibaka had 10 and off the bench, DeLon Wright had 17, 
And meanwhile, for Washington, Bradley Beal, 43 points, 10 boards, 15 assists. An impressive performance by him. Thomas Bryant, 18 points, 11 boards. Trevor Reza, 23 points, 9 rebounds, and 10 assists. So he almost had a triple-double as well. And Jeff Green had 12. Off the bench, Otto Porter Jr. had 27. The Bucks defeat the Hawks 133-114. to 114. As Milwaukee goes to 13-12, Atlanta drops to 13-30. Giannis is dead, Kumbo, 33 points and 6 boards. Chris Middleton had 17 with 11 boards. Eric Bledsoe had 24 with 10 assists. Malcolm Brogdon had 14. Off the bench, George Hill had 11. John Collins and Omari Spellman each had 13. DeAndre Bembry had 18. Trey Young had 26 with 10 rebounds. And Kevin Herter had 11. Alex Land had 12 off the bench. The Magic defeat the Rockets 116-109. The Magic yet again take advantage of a contender in a trap game. Orlando's 19 and 24. Houston's 24 and 18. I have some Rockets news to talk about in a couple minutes that just broke a few moments ago. Nikola Vucevic and Aaron Gordon each had 22 points. Evan Fournier had 19. And Terrence Ross off the bench had 17. He was making a case for the sixth man of the year. Austin Rivers had 25. James Harden had 38 with 12 assists and 9 boards. Clint Capella had 17 and 10. Danielle House Jr. had 14. And their bench didn't do anything. The Warriors defeat the Mavericks 119-114. I thought this was a trap game for Golden State, but they survived courtesy of Stephen Curry and his 11 three-pointers. Golden State 29-14. Dallas is 20-23. I mentioned Curry. He had 48 points and 11 three-pointers. He also had 5 assists and 6 boards. Kevin Durant had 28, 7 boards and 5 assists. Klay Thompson had 16 and off the bench with 10 points. Alfonso McKinney. Meanwhile for Dallas, Luka Doncic. 26 points, 6 boards, 5 assists. DeAndre Jordan, 13 points and 14 boards. Harrison Barnes had 22. And off the bench, Jalen Brunson had 12. The Nuggets defeat the Trailblazers, 116-113. to Denver, 29-13. Portland, 26-18. and Nikola Jokic, 40 points, 10 boards, 8 assists. Jamal Murray, 24 points. Malik Beasley at 13. Paul Millsap had 11 with 6 boards and... Monte Morris off the bench had 10. Yosef Nurkic had 10. Jake Lehman had 13. Damian Lillard had 26. CJ McCollum had 18. Off the bench, Evan Turner had 13. Mo Harkless still has the left knee injury. The Cavaliers upset the Lakers 101-95. LeBron James is still out. Cleveland's 9-35. Lakers are 23-21. CD Osmond had 20. Tristan Thompson had 15 with 14 boards. Colin Sexton had 17. Alec Burks had 17 with 13 boards. Rodney Hood at 18. Bench didn't do anything. Kyle Kuzma had 29 with 9 boards. Brandon Ingram had 22 with 7 boards. Lonzo Ball had 13 with 8 assists and 8 boards. And their bench didn't do anything. Tonight's games. At 7.30 at the Celtics at the Nets. 8 o'clock the Grizzlies at the Rockets. 8.30 the Hornets at the Spurs on NBA TV. 9 o'clock, the Pistons at the Jazz. 10 o'clock, the Trailblazers at the Kings. And 10.30, the Pelicans at the Clippers. So, different start times for each of these games. NHL from yesterday. The Hurricanes defeat the Predators 6-3. Carolina improves to 22-18-5. Nashville drops to 27-16-4. Sebastian Ayo had the hat trick with an assist for the number one star of the game. The number two star of the game with two assists. Michael Furland and the number three star of the game with an assist, Calvin DeHaan. The Jets defeat the Ducks 4-3 in overtime. Winnipeg improves to 29-14-2. Anaheim drops to 19-18-9. That's 11 straight losses for the Ducks, by the way. And the number one star of the game didn't have a point in the game. It was just great. Adam Lowry, the number two star of the game with 30 saves on... 34 shots, John Gibson, and the number three star of the game with the goal and assist, Brian Little. The Blue Jackets via the Rangers 7 to 5. Columbus 27 15 and 3. The Rangers 18 20 and 7. Number one star of the game with two goals, Nick Feligno. Number two star of the game with the goal and assist, Cam Atkinson. Number three star of the game with the goal and assist, Artemi Panarin. The Islanders defeat the Lightning 5 to 1. A very impressive win for the Islanders. They improved to 25 15 and 4. Tampa 35 9 and 2. Number one star of the game with two assists, Matt Martin. Number two star of the game with 38 saves on 39 shots, Thomas Grice. And the number three star of the game with a goal and assist, Casey Sezikis. The Canucks defeat the Panthers 5-1. The Canucks improve to 
21-21 and 5. Florida 17-19 and 8. Number one star of the game with a goal. Ben Hutton, number two star of the game with 31 saves on 36 shots. Roberto Luongo in his return to Vancouver. And the number three star of the game with a goal and two assists, Louis Erickson. The Flames defeat the Coyotes 7-1. Calgary, best record in the West right now, goes to 30-13-4. Arizona drops to 20-22-3. Number one star of the game with the two goals and an assist, Mark Giordano. Number two star of the game with two goals, Matthew Tuchuk. And the number three star of the game with 22 saves on 23 shots, Mike Smith against his former team. Tonight, slate at 7 o'clock, you have the Avalanche at the Maple Leafs, the Blackhawks at the Devils, the Wild at the Flyers, the Blues at the Capitals, 7.30, the Canadians at the Bruins on NBCSN. The Canadians should win that game easily. They are the better team. And at 9 o'clock, you have the Sabres at the Oilers. Now I'm going to do my power rankings for the NHL. I'm going to go from 31 to 1. We're going to talk about what teams should do at the trade deadline as I go through these. Number 31 is the Los Angeles Kings. They're going to be sellers at the deadline. I am curious to see if they shop any of their stars like Anze Kopitar or Drew Doughty or even Jonathan Quick. Number 30 is the Ottawa Senators. They're for sure sellers. Matt DeShane and Michael Stone are going to be hot commodities at the trade deadline. 29 is the Detroit Red Wings. They're a team that really doesn't have many assets other than their young guys. Number 28 is the Philadelphia Flyers. They're going to be a seller. This has just been a bad year for this franchise. They fired their coach and their GM. Wayne Simmons is a guy that's going to be had for the deadline. 27 is the New Jersey Devils. I'm interested to see what this team does at the deadline. They should be a seller. I don't think they'll trade somebody like Taylor Hall, but it would be fascinating if they put him on the market. You're reigning uh, Hart Trophy winner. 26, the New York Rangers. Kevin Hayes is going to be a hot commodity on the trade deadline. 25, the Chicago Blackhawks there. Similar to Los Angeles in the sense that I'd be fascinated if they shopped any of their stars, but I doubt it. Maybe some little pieces will go at the deadline. 24 is the Arizona Coyotes. They should be a seller. This is not a good team. Number 23 is the St. Louis Blues. They will be a seller. Vladimir Tarasenko's name is being thrown around. That's going to be the hot ticket at the trade market this year, in my opinion. Other than Matt DeShane and Michael Stone. Although I think Tara Sengel's better than both of those guys. But DeShane could be had because he's having a career year and Stone's still young. I'm sorry, Mark Stone. 22 is the Florida Panthers. This team has underachieved badly this year. But I still think this team could have a little run in them to make, play themselves out of sellers. The Carolina Hurricanes I have at 21, they're going to be a seller. Michael Ferlin is being asked for a first rounder, according to some sources out there. 20 is the Edmonton Oilers. I'm, this is going to be a very interesting team. They're lucky the Western Conference isn't as good as it once was. And they're probably going to go for it. They'll overpay to get somebody. Number 19 is the Vancouver Canucks. Another team that should be a seller they're still rebuilding and they do have some good young talent but they should be sh uh not shopping at the deadline they should be selling 18th anaheim ducks i'm interested to see if they have a little bit of a run in them to avoid themselves from being a seller number 17 is the minnesota wild this team got off to a good start but they faltered of late number 16 to colorado avalanche to me they're intriguing i think the best asset available right now is that Ottawa Senators pick that they own, in, which they got in the Matt DeShane deal. And that could very well be the number one overall pick. I think Colorado should trade it. They're a contender. They have, I'm, I should say they have the look of a contender. Maybe they upgrade in goal. Maybe they get a big-time defenseman. Maybe they improve their forwards and get a second-line guy. Number 15 is the Dallas Stars. This team is a bit of a weird team. I think they'll be a buyer because they're in top three in the Central Division right now. 14 is the Montreal Canadiens. To me, the biggest surprise in the NHL right now. They're right in the firm of the wild card race, but this team should really be a seller rather than a buyer. Number 13 is the Buffalo Sabres. This team has faltered lately. It's very disappointing how they faltered. They really should make a trade. 
to improve their team. 20s, the New York Islanders. They, uh, like the Canadians, are one of the biggest surprises in the league. That also should be a seller rather than a buyer. But I think the Islanders are going to end up being a buyer, and Montreal is going to end up being a seller. That's just my gut take. Number 11 is the Columbus Blue Jackets. This is a fascinating team. They are in the top three in the Metropolitan Division as we speak. I do think they'll keep Artemi Panarin and Sergei Bobrovsky on their team. Number 10 is the Boston Bruins. They've had some weird results of late. They're rumored for all the big names, especially from the forward side of things. Number 9 is the Pittsburgh Penguins. This team's been playing very well lately. They're rumored to get a big name as well. Eight is the Nashville Predators. They're going to be an interesting team. They should be a buyer, but where on their team? I'm going to say defense, maybe. Seven is the Washington Capitals. I think they're going to be a buyer at the deadline for sure. An area that they should improve on is defense, and maybe a depth forward would be nice. Six is the Toronto Maple Leafs. They need a defenseman in the worst way. If they go out and get an A-plus defensive player, they are going to be right there among the favorites to win the cup. Number five is the Winnipeg Jets. They can use a second tier forward and some help on defense. Number four is the Vegas Golden Knights. This team's always thinking big, and I do think they'll do something big. Number three is the San Jose Sharks. This team made its move before the season by getting Eric Carlson. Do they have another one in them? I don't think so. Number two is the Calgary Flames. They have the best record in the West right now, so they deserve this number two spot. They're a team that can use an upgrade in net and an upgrade on defense, maybe a depth forward. And number one is the Tampa Bay Lightning. They should keep everything status quo at the trade deadline. This is clearly the best team in the NHL. Last night, I think, was just a blip on the radar, nothing to be worried about. you got to give the Islanders credit for that win last night. I'm not faulting Tampa Bay. They were due to lose a game at some point and down the look bad at some point, and there it was. I'm not faulting the Tampa Bay Lightning for losing to the Islanders last night. Clint Capella is out for a couple months due to a thumb injury. That is a huge loss for the Houston Rockets. And if there's a positive lighting that comes out of this, if the Rockets play well, then James Harden's going to become the clear crown MVP front runner because you'll be no Chris Paul, no Clint Capella, and you're single handedly carrying the Rockets to these wins. So maybe this ups James Harden's MVP case a little bit, but. To me, this is such a big loss for Houston, and this injury can cost them a top four seed in the Western Conference playoffs. A sad loss in the baseball world today. Mel Stoudemire, unfortunately, had passed away this morning. He was dealing with some health issues. He had a long battle with bone marrow cancer, 77 years old. Sad loss for the New York sports world because don't forget that he was also a pitching coach for the Mets as well as the Yankees. The Mets obviously in the 80s when they won the World Series and then the Yankees in the late 90s when they had their dynasty. And I have a personal memory of him just being a Yankees fan watching Old Timers Day in 2015. Mel Stoudemire got surprised by the Yankees by giving him a plaque in Monument Park. And his speech came from the heart. And he was always an outgoing guy. And he was always a father figure to the guys he's coached. And thoughts and prayers go out to the Yankees, the Mets, and his family. Manny Machado and Bryce Harper. There was some news yesterday. Jeff Passan broke the story that the White Sox upped their offer to eight years, $240 million about. I do think Manny will end up signing there within the next couple days. And also there's reports out that the Philadelphia Phillies are clear front runners for Bryce Harper after a meeting between the two parties went very, very well. So don't 
be surprised if he signs this week as well. In more baseball news, the Rays are closing in on free agent outfielder Avisael Garcia. And I think it's going to be a one-year deal with a $6 million. So that's an interesting signing for Tampa Bay. That could be a steal if I'm reading the reports correctly. And also news before I came on and started doing the podcast that Kyler Murray is declaring for the NFL draft. That is big news. And I think it's a win for football, but a big loss for the Oakland Athletics and baseball. Kyler, I think, could be a top 10 pick. There are a lot of quarterback needy teams in the draft, such as the Giants, the Jaguars. Maybe somebody moves up, like the Dolphins. So that is something to look out for, and I think that Kyler rather be a superstar in the NFL than a baseball superstar. And don't forget, he was a top 10 pick in the MLB draft by the Athletics last year and then decided to go play at Oklahoma, and his Heisman winning season upped his value, which made him decide to go for football rather than baseball. Before I do my best bet, I'm going to transfer into tennis a little bit and talk about the Australian Open. We'll start at the women's side of things. Katie Bilter defeats Ekaterina Markova. In the first round, three sets. First set was 6-0, and then the next set was 6-4 in favor of Markarova. And then Bolter defeats Markarova 7-6. So that was that. Astra Sharma defeats Priscilla Hone. To move on, 7-5-4-6, then 6-1. Well, the 4-6 being that Hone defeated Sharma the first, the third round. Marketa Vondrovsa defeats Evgenia Rodina. To move on, 6-3, then 6-2. 31-seeded... Petra Martich defeats Heather Watson to move on. 6-1, then a 6-2. Caroline Garcia defeats Jessica Ponche to advance with a 6-2, then a 6-3. Irina Sabalenka, the 11 seed, defeats Anna Kalasanka to advance with a 6-1, then a 6-4. Rebecca Peterson defeats Sorona Saresta. I'm not going to go through the scores because I'm short on time. And by the way, the Avisel Garcia deal is for $3.5 million guaranteed with Tampa Bay. Danielle Rose Collins upsets Julia Gorgeous. To advance, Sachia Vickery defeats Yaseline Bonaventure to advance. Donna Vekic defeats Christina Mladovic to advance. Maria Sharapova defeats Harriet Dort to advance. Zoe Heaves defeats Bethany Matek Sands to advance. Alessia Serenko defeats Ekaterina Alexandrova to advance. Kimberly Burrell defeats Beatriz Haddad Maria to advance. Solane Stevens defeats Taylor Towson to advance. Anastasia Pavlichova defeats Monica Puig to advance. Timia Babos defeats Owns Jabor to advance. Maria Sakari defeats Jelena 
Ostapenko to advance. Annette Contavieri defeats Sarah Sarabes Tormo to advance. Angelique Kerber defeats Polona Herzog to advance. Kiki Bertens defeats Allison Risk to advance. Yulia Puntaseva defeats Barboa Strakova to advance. And Wang Yafan defeats Ellen Perez to advance. Johanna Larson defeats Vera Lapko to advance. Belinda Bencic defeats Katerina Sinakova to advance. Irina Camellia Bagu defeats Andrea Petrovic to advance. Ashley Barty defeats Lukiza Kumkum to advance. Caroline Wanjanaki defeats Alison Van Yurtanvik to advance. Alexandra Sanjinovic defeats Kristen Flipkins to advance. And Petra Kivoka defeats Magdalena Rybadoka to advance. Tonight's matches at 7 o'clock you have Johanna Kanta against Asla Tomjevic. Give me Kanta to advance there. We're going to make, be making picks too. Carolina Machova against Carolina Pascova. Give me Pascova to advance. Pascova is your 7 seed. You have 12 seeded Elise Mertens against Anna Carolina Shmoldova. Give me Mertens to advance. Wang Kiong against Fiona Farrow. Give me Wang to advance. Wang's your 21 seed. Zarina Dias against Alexandra Krunik. Give me Krunik to advance. Pauline Paramontier against Angastasia Potapova. Give me Potapova to advance. 17-seeded Madison Keys against Destiny Aviva. Give me Madison Keys there. Serena Williams against Tachajana Maria. Give me Serena there. That's going to be on ESPN2 at 9 o'clock. Also, you have 18 seeded Gabrielle Mazurka against Zhang Sase. Give me Magrusa to advance there. 9 30. Eugenie Bouchard against Peng Suhei. Give me Bouchard there. 10 seeded Daria Kasaktina against Tamea Bazinski. Give me Kaskakina there. Natalia Vishli Seva against Vervara Lipachenko. Give me Lipachenko there. Madison Brengel against Miss K. Doy. Give me Doy. Tamara Zadanik against Daria. Gaviola, give me Graviola there. 9.30, Bianca Andrasecu against Whitney Awasuge, give me Awasuge. Mona Bartel against Anastasia Sevastova, give me Sevastova there to advance. She's the 13th seed. You have Venus Williams against Minolea. Guzerneku, give me Venus there to pull off the upset. Camelia Georgi against Dahlia Jakopovich, give me Georgi there. Laura Sigmund against Victoria Azarenka, give me Azarenka there. Stephanie Vogeli against his she, So We, give me So We there. And Zhu Lin against Margarita. Gasprion, give me Gasprion there. And to close out round one, Elise Cornet against Lara Arubrena, give me Arubrena there. Carla Suarez Navarro against Clara Burrell, give me Suarez Navarro in that one. Samantha Stoser against Diana Yastremka, give me Yastremka. Sylvia Kennan against Veronica Kumratova. Give me Kumratova. 
Next up, Iga Swadiak against Anna Bogdan. Give me Bogdan. 26 seeded Dominica. Sibolka against Zhang Swai. Give me Sibolka. I'm sorry, Sibolkova. Carolina Pliskova against Anna Blinkova. Give me Blinkova. Victoria Kuzmova against Katarina Koslava. Give me Koslava. Victoria Golubic against Elena Slovatnia. Give me Slovatnia. She's your uh, sixth seed. Simona Halep against Kaya Kanepi. Give me Simona Halep. She's your one seed. And last but not least, Naomi Osaka against. Magda Lynette, give me Osoka there. She's your four seed. And on to the men's side of things for the Australian Open. Stefano Travaglia defeats Guido Androsi. Fernando Verdasco, your 26 seed, defeats Mayamir Kesminovic. Radu Albot defeats Michael Moe. Nicolas Balashivi defeats Christopher Eubanks. Kevin Anderson knocks off Adrian Manorino. Anderson was your five seed. And by the way, Basile Vivi was your 19 seed. Stefano Sipias, your 14 seed, defeats Matteo Baretni. Robin Haas defeats Guillermo Garcia Lopez. Francis Tafoe defeats Prajnesh Gunaswaran. Pablo Cuevas defeats Dusan Laktovich. 20 seeded Grigov Dmitriov defeats Janko Tifsevich. Rafael Nadal defeats James Duckworth. Nadal's your two seed. Thomas Fabino defeats Jason Kluber. Riley Opelka upsets number 9 seeded John Isner. 18 seeded Diego Schwartzman defeats Rudolf Mulliker. Dan Evans defeats Tatsuma Ito. Dennis Kudlow defeats Mark Pullmans. 10 seeded Karen Kachnavaj defeats Peter Gojowick. And number 27 seeded Alex. The Manure defeats Hawaii Pedro Sosa. Victor Trujillo defeats Roberto Cabarellas Buena. Mackenzie McDonald defeats Andre Rublev. Henry Lasokin defeats Mirza Basic. Thomas Burdich upsets Kyle Edmund. Edmund was your 13 seed. Jordan Thompson defeats Feliciano Lopez. Andrea Seppi upsets the number 31 seed, Steve Johnson. Matthew Ebden defeats Jan Leonard Struff. Number 30 seed, Gail Monflis defeats Demir Duzmer. Yoshihito Nisioka defeats Tenny Sangren. John Millman defeats Federico Del Bonis. Taylor Fritz defeats Cameron Norrie. Number 22 seed, Roberto Batista Agut defeats Andy Murray and Andy Murray Swan Song, perhaps. Number 6 seed, Marin Click defeats Bernard Tomich. And 3 seeded Roger Federer defeats Dennis Istomin. And to tonight we go. We have Jerry Vesely against Ryan Harrison. Give me Harrison there. You have 15 seeded Daniil Medvedev against Lloyd Harris. Give me Medvedev. Number 12 seed Fabio Fognini against Wame Munar. Give me Fognini. Olya Vishka against Malik Jaziri. Give me Jaziri. Nicholas Jerry against Leonardo Mayer. 
Give me Mayer. Camille Majarsik against number eight seeded K Nishiorki. Give me Nishiorki. Evil Karvalik against Hubert Hurkaz. Give me Hurkaz there. Sam Query against Pierre Hughes Herbert. Give me Hughes Herbert there. Albert Ramos Valonis against Marton Fusiovis. Give me Ramos Valonis there. Luke Gavani against Pablo Carena Busta. Give me Carena Busta there. He's your 23 seed. Alex Bold against Jack Sock. Give me Bolt. Borna Korchich against Steve Darkus. Give me Korik, your 11 seed. Number 24 seed Chung Kyung against Bradley Klon. Give me Chung Kyung there. Laszlo Dejiri against Evgeny Donskoy. Give me Donskoy. Guido Pella against Joao Sousa. Give me Pella. Bajorn Fratangelo against Gil Simone. Gil Simone's your 29th seed. Give me him the win. Taro Daniel against Thanasi Kukianis. Give me Kukianis the win. Number four seeded Alexander Zverev against Elijah's Badeni. Give me Zverev. Pablo Andujar against 25 seeded Denis Shapovalov. Give me Shapovalov. Marcel Granollers against Marius Kopil. Give me Kopil. 21 seed David Goffin against Christian Garin. Give me Goffin. Number 32 seed Philip Kolschreiber against Z Lee. Give me Z Lee for the upset. Jeremy Charty against Hugo Humbert. Give me Charty. Right there. And you have Philip Kranjevic against number 17 seeded Marco Secianto. Give me Secianto there. And 28 seed Lucas Polai against Mikhail Kukushin. Give me Lucas Polai there. And then you have Joe Wilfried Songa against Martin Kalizan. Get Give me Wilfred Songa there. Stan Marinka against Ernest Golbis. Give me Golbis. Max Martyrer against Glev Shakarov. Give me Martyrer. Alexei Paprian against Mashika Zverev. Give me Zverev there. Novak Djokovic against Mitchell Kruger. Give me Djokovic all the way. Nick Karijos against number 16 seed Milos Raoncic. Give me Raoncic there. And last but not least, number 7 seeded Dominic Thyme against Benoit Pair. Give me Thyme there. And that's it for tennis. I'll talk more tennis tomorrow as the first round concludes. Last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. The Spurs, the Utah Jazz, Duke, Arkansas Pine Bluff, Grambling, Martin Ferdzovitz, Elise Mertens, Wong Kiong, and Madison Keys. Plus three fifty seven, wagering a dollar sixty five to win five dollars and ninety cents, with the payout of seven dollars and fifty five cents. That's it for the podcast today. I'll be back tomorrow recapping everything from college basketball, NBA, NHL, tennis. I'll do my Final four NFL rankings. We'll talk more Machado Harper. And I'll give you guys my best bet for tomorrow as well. I hope you guys have a great day.